Hi, this is Marilee, and this is week two of my six-week blogging challenge. Last week, as I mentioned, I was looking for different plugins to put on my site, and I found one. If you have a site like mine and you have a lot of comments, you may also get spam comments, which I did. And so I read a lot of great things about Akismet and they filtered out all the spam. My challenge this week is my work-life balance. I work all day and by the time I get home, the last thing I want to do is go and sit at my computer. I just want to spend time with my loved ones and I realize, oh, I have some work to do on my computer. So just trying to figure out a way to still have my personal life and work on my blog at the same time. I'm still trying to figure that part out. My tip is time blocking. I saw a video not too long ago about setting aside a certain amount of time to do what you need to do and the rest of the time you have for free. So what I'm going to do is I come home from work and I'm going to set aside just 20 minutes of doing my blog. That way the rest of the time is my personal time and I can do what I want and I don't have to feel bad for putting off my project, but I can immediately get to it right away and then the rest of the night I have for free. So um, if, if you have that set time every day it becomes a habit and you're able to uh, finish what you need to do, you don't have to dread it, uh, you can just get right into it and then enjoy the rest of your time. Outside of the challenge that I have, I've just been uh, looking at some of the submissions that I've gotten and it reminds me why I got into this in the first place. I read a story this week that really touched me. It was about a guy that was speaking about this kid that he hated when he grew up. He had uh, a story about him and he talked about how he called him names and it turned out that it was really himself saying all these things. And so it makes me sad, but so many people have gone through the same thing where they are being the hardest on themselves. This story is what leads me into the nonprofit I wanted to talk about this week. The nonprofit is called To Write Love on Her Arms. This organization is dedicated to help people find hope who are dealing with negative thoughts like the guy that I just talked about and other people that are struggling with depression or suicide. If you're struggling with any of these things, please contact the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, which is 1-800-273-8255. And if you're interested, I'm also including the link for To Write Love on Her Arms. If you haven't submitted your story yet, I would love to hear from you. So please go to my bio and submit your story. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.